Hey guys, I'm Thomas at Pronto24, and today we're talking about the biggest design trend of 2021, and that is green dial watches. If you're enthusiasts like us, you probably saw every brand under the sun coming out with their own version of green dials, and like us, you're probably wondering why that's the case. We're gonna dive into that today. Speaking of green, Chrono24 is giving away $10,000 in cash towards your next purchase of your dream watch. Wanna find out how to win? Check out the link in the description below. Let's start with a little bit of contents. This, of course, is in the first industry-wide trend we've seen. Prior to this, we had the blue dial craze, we had the stainless steel bracelet craze so that every watch for the past five years kind of looked like a Nautilus and a Royal Oak. Obviously, brands can't do that forever, so the task became to find out what the next big thing was. A little insider tip, when I was a full-time watch journalist, I went to a brand release. I won't say the brand, I won't say the watch, but what I can tell you is this brand hired a trend forecaster, much like they do in the fashion industry, to find out what the next thing the consumers wanted. And the answer to that, of course, is green dials. Now that brand came out with their watch in early 2020. And then now 2021, with, especially with Watches and Wonders, we see every brand catching on to this. You start to wonder if it's a little bit of a chicken and an egg thing. Who is leading this? Is it the brand selling what the consumers want? Is the consumers hinting at what they want and the brands follow? No one really knows, but here we are. A little fun fact for you. The human eye can see more shades of green than any other color. That's so our ancestors could help pick out a snake in the grass. And even if you didn't learn anything else in the video, at least you learned that. Now, 2021 is the year where every brand came out with their version of the green watch. Even Cartier, the most color phobic brand in the industry, released a green Cartier tank. And of course, this wouldn't be a watch video without talking about Rolex. They, of course, did not release a new green watch per se, but they did discontinue the Rolex Hulk and prices have only gone up because why else? Everybody wants what they can't have. Now with every brand coming out with their version of the green watch, it's hard to think that this is just a coincidence. A negative way to look at this is that it's a herd mentality, but a positive way to look at it is that it's a theme party. You have some brands going a little bit cooler, some going a little bit warmer. They're all doing kind of their take on this trend of the year. Think of it like uh, Pantone, for example, they come out with their color of the year. It's the same thing for the industry. Green is what's in. So now you have every brand doing their own little version to spice it up. Personally, I like green. I think it's a nice touch and I hope it continues in the permanent collections beyond just this year. For any sneaker heads out there, you probably remember the meteoric rise of the Stan Smith and how every cool person's outfit just had a little pop of green in there. I think the same thing for watches, the green dial, really brings just a little panache to an everyday outfit. And so I hope it continues beyond this year. Now that we've established that green is the color of the moment, the question is really, where do we go from here? I have a couple theories. Number one being, I think we're gonna continue on the rainbow route towards more warmer tones. We started off with blue, now we're in green. So therefore the next step would be a yellow. We did see this with the Rolex Oyster Perpetual. They came out with a yellow dial there, which is quite rare in the industry. It's also my personal favorite version. I think we're just gonna move along that track, hitting on yellow, hitting on orange, which has always kind of been a thing in the watch industry, and really land hard on red dials, red bezels, and really hit that phase for a while. One theory that I have, and don't quote me on this, is that the green dial trend will help usher in other trends that have been bubbling up under the surface for a little bit. Precious metals, of course, kind of flow in and out. Steel has been king for a long time, but with these green dials, we have seen more combinations with yellow gold, with the two of Black Bay, of course, and AP came out with a new Royal Oak in green and yellow gold. So I think those two trends might kind of coincide to produce more color combinations than that. I personally love those. So maybe we'll see more, maybe we won't. Only time will tell. Now, those are just my theories. I would love to hear what you guys think might happen. If you have any theories about where we go from here or even just why green is the thing it is now, drop a comment below, reply to each other, get in an argument, have fun. Let's see what happens.